Welcome Game of Thrones fans, it's me Mark. I'm Anna. And we are here to bring you the season finale of season 2, episode 10, Valor and Magulis. Yeah, that's a tongue twister. Not necessarily a tongue twister, but it's probably hard for you to pronounce. I tried. Valar, Valar Magulis. Valar Magulis. Valar Magulis. There we go. There. Which is Valyrian saying, for all men must die. All men must die. If they're not, they're mortal. And if they're mortal, they're not man. <laughs> so, what happened last episode? Um, Blackwater. <laughs> pretty much just an entire battle. I'm pretty sure that's the first, yeah, that's the first episode that's only been in one place. One single place, no jumping around to different continents and back and then, yeah. Up north and down south and... Every, just one place. One place that I can easily pinpoint on the map that you cannot see. <laughs> so it's, it's there, it's there. The map, you like the map? Yes, I, w I was excited when you got that. <laughs> Makes things a little easier, don't it? Mm -hmm. Understanding where everybody's at. Yep. Um, so during the Blackwater, any highlights of Blackwater? Well, um, Cersei and, oh, what was the little, the little prince's name? Tommen. Tom, Tommen? Tommen. Sounds like Thomas. That's probably how I'm going to relate. I mean, he's about my cousin Thomas's age, which Thomas is like five now. Thomas a little older than that. Mm. Well, they look but about still, the same yeah. age. They're both blonde. So that's probably how I'm going to remember his name. Tom and Thomas. It works. So Cersei had almost had um, hit, had them drink nightshade, which is a type of deadly poison. And um, that's kind of how it really. So what do you think of Tyrion in that? Tyrion? Yeah, he had the speech. He had the big speech. Um, and then, I don't know where he, well, last time we saw him, he was laying on the ground, and he, his face was all bloody. Hope he would, yeah. I'm pretty sure he lost some blood, so he's hopefully just knocked out, and then he'll, you know, regain consciousness, hopefully. I'm really hoping that, because, <laughs> like, Tyrion is the... The only Lannister that I like, and that's only because he's very, very funny. <laughs> he's my fourth favorite character, just because he's funny. <laughs> he's a very funny character. Okay, we got two questions for this episode. They came in through uh, the episode seven, no, episode eight um, comments, but they didn't really pertain to Blackwater, so I figured I'd wait till this episode to ask him. So here goes, Morphe versus Fisher. Uh, what does Anna think about Rob basically ordering his own mother to be guarded day and night for Free and Jamie? Hmm. And do you agree with it? And what would you do in his shoes if you don't agree with it? Well, um, if, well, he's practically putting, not necessarily putting her on house arrest, but pretty much what it is. <laughs> it's pretty close. It's pretty close. But let's see. I mean, he's mad at his mom because they literally had a Lannister prisoner, but to, you know, I don't know what they were going to do with him just like trading for Sansa and Arya. That's but. possible, but you always have that chip in your back pocket. Mm-hmm. They mm -hmm. See, that's the thing. The Lannisters have Sansa, which is their, you know, upper Bargain hand. Chip. <laughs> but then Rob had Jamie before, you know. He was out. No, it's not necessarily released, but in, but he didn't necessarily escape. Yeah, he's still a prisoner, just he's, prisoner Brienne. Yep. On his way to King's Landing, though. Mm-hmm. To get traded for our So do you agree team. with what he did? Well... Or do you think he should have handled it differently? He probably should have. 
because I mean, if I were cat and I and and if I thought both of my daughters were in the clutches of the other side, I'd be I'd probably do anything to get my only two daughters back. But I mean, they the Lannisters only have one one daughter <laughs> in their hands. Well, they have. They had both, but are you, you know? Got away. Got away. All right. Um, so did Rob do the good, right thing? The right thing? Well, he's... Because um, you said you agreed with what Kat did. I agreed with what Kat did because, I mean, if I were in her shoes, that's probably what I'd do. But, I mean, with he... He lost his upper hand. His the one thing that he had his upper hand. I mean, other than the fact that he won all the battles. Um. So there's that, but then, um. But he was a little blinded by rage because you know he lost his upper hand. Mm -hmm. If I were in his shoes, I would probably just ask her why, and then, you know. I mean, he wants, he started down there to get his father and both of his sisters back. His dad is dead, and, well, Arya escaped, but he doesn't know that. Right. Um, but he still is fighting a war, and he's probably going to get come back anyways, though Arya probably will be, let's see, they're up in the Riverlands, I'd say it's about on foot, Arya, and she's going up to Winterfell, but, and they're in the Riverlands, I'd say it's about, um, a week, they're about like a week's distance for Arya and Rob on foot. So, I mean, they're really close, and once he realizes it's, he only has to free Sansa, if Arya... He might feel a little bit better about the situation. Um, he has one less pressure, but he still needs to get to Arya, but the one thing is, I don't, I don't know, I'm up for complicating <laughs> this. I think right. I always do. Okay, well, let's move reason. on to uh, Chase Watson's uh, question. Yeah. And this is about Rob also. Um, do you think war is a good time for Rob to be worrying about starting a new relationship with somebody? War? Yeah, time of war. Do you think that's the appropriate time to be starting a relationship? No, especially since you might die. Yeah. That whole thing, but... Do you think he'll continue pursuing Talisa or marry the Frey daughter? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, he's Go ahead supposed... And is He's together? supposed to, but I mean, he likes T Talia. Talisa. Talisa. Um, let's see. I think he's totally going to ditch the whole twins thing. Totally ditch that? Yep. What should he do? What should this he do? This is the last part of that question. Well, um... I mean, the best thing to do, one of the things to do is follow your heart, which I mean, is with Talisa, Tal Talisa, <laughs> just too many names, um, Talisa, but I mean, he also made a deal, just don't go oh. back on your word. So you're but saying I mean, he should marry the Frey. No, I'm not saying that. But you think he'll go to Talisa instead. Yeah. I mean, he should, that way he can get help from the twins again, but I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's the right thing to do, but like, I just, he's following your heart. Well, all right, I think that answers pretty much that question. Um, again, anybody out there that didn't catch the very end of the last video, we'll be doing a Q&A hopefully on Saturday. So any of your questions from the last three videos, I'll just write them all down. We're going to do a Q&A. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get rolling with Valar Magulis. Valar Magulis. Please be 
Looks like Tyrion. Okay, <laughs> he's just knocked unconscious. I think. What's happening?
shirt and it wasn't your brother. <laughs> Look into the fire, my king. Look. What's this fire? Keep looking. Do you see? Do you see, my king? No, oh, it'd be nice to know what they're seeing. <laughs> Look upon one another and say the words. Father, Smith, Warrior, Mother, Maiden, Crone, Stranger. I am hers and she is mine from this, this day until the end of my days. Well, I 
stuck. Dang. <laughs> Winterfell. Well, I know it's Winterfell. <laughs> but I mean, didn't the men, you know, the men, you know, retreat? I assume. Why are there bloody men? In fire. In burning. What happened? Is he dead? I'm just gonna assume he lost a lot of blood. Oh wait, no, he's not dead. See the baby. Also, <laughs> she asked me for Sakoi, and I think for something fishy around until the sun rises in the west and sets in the east, until the rivers run dry and the mountains blow in the wind like leaves. Tracaris. 
ordinary fire. It's dragon fire. See the whites and white walkers? No. Is that how the episode was going? <laughs> that thing was terrifying. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Think season three is gonna be good? They finally introduced the White Walkers, <laughs> so of course. Well, they introduced them in the first episode. They Kept introduced them more. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they introduced more of that. Yeah. A little bit more of what the uh, White Walkers were all about. Yeah. Oh, uh, you want to start from the beginning? A lot I happened. I got chills. <laughs> nice. This the show does that. <laughs> I'm looking. Heading <laughs> <laughs> up to see John. <laughs> <laughs> 